Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we're checking out Kovaci. Kovaci. Kovaci sounds like a fashion brand. Like, hey, I got this shirt from Kovaci. Check it out. It's $2,000. Like Gucci, you know? The guy looked like he came straight out from the JoJo anime. Just very, very stylish. This account, the owner, I saw on Reddit. So I slide into the DM pretty much immediately. Unfortunately, he is not a tryhard player. He's like one of you guys who watched the video. He's just an average summoner or so enjoyer. So it's not super high rank. And he tells Take it slow so we won't be having some intense battle but just some casual testing we have a skill two that decrease skill cooldown time ally target by one turn and we have a skill three that boosts attack power cleanse and increase attack bar if you look for something that can buff attack power and cleanse harmful effect there are not many this guy the girl or this guy jamie they have a very similar skill kit so if jamie and the war bear get a 2a they will become kovachi so this is a 2a war bear <laughs> while that's going on take a look at this amazing game that i played with my viewers on stream the other day it's called magarina one of the best max shooter games for both your mobile and PC. You can install this game using my link or the QR code on screen and get a free starter pack worth $15. You can also add me as a friend so we can play together in the future. Back to the video. But the good thing about Kovachi is the attack bar boost, but the base speed is only 100, so it won't be a competitive turn one buffer anytime soon, but it can be potentially used as a cleanser. So one of the things that I really want to use Kovachi with will be with a Ciara because you can bomb with attack buff and then Kovachi can actually reduce the bomb cooldown and Ciara will be able to use the bomb again and that is actually pretty cool. So we're going to go for the quick bomb here. We're going to detonate the bomb to do some massive damage and oh uh oh that's not looking that's not looking too hot. Oh shit. So my plan was to reset the, the bomb cooldown and give Sierra a turn. <laughs> Sierra's dead. <laughs> so that was the plan, okay? But didn't didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. As you can see right here, the defense are not very competitive, but that's not the point, all right? So right now we are using Kovachi like how we are using a Bastet. We use it to buff, attack, and attack bar, align for turn one. We're gonna, let's say, we're gonna bomb the Hathor, detonate, and then we can use it on Sierra once again. And I think Sierra should have the bomb ready, but not the detonation though. And because the bomb cooldown skill is very, very short, we have the bomb ready once again. You can also use the skill on Kovachi himself. I still don't know if it's a him or her, to be honest, to reduce the cooldown of skill three. But I think it would be much better to use on a unit that has low skill cooldown, like Sierra with the bomb, or let's say an Ethna. Something with two turn cooldown, you have the skill back pretty much immediately. And that is really, really cool. And also Kovachi provide an attack leader skill. So that's going to be very good with pretty much any strong damage dealer you are trying to use because it will provide more damage. Unfortunately, the Savannah is not speed tuned to our liking. So let's say if we use it on ourselves like this, we get some free attack bar. And then I'm trying to kill this guy. Look at this. If you violent proc after this turn, you have the skill 3 once again. If you decide to run Kovachi on a violent build, which is totally fine. You don't have to run a swift build. You have the skill again to buff attack power. But remember, there's no healing, there's no shield. So there's literally nothing to protect you. The cleanse is only good when you have something to cleanse, right? Here's a Narsha too. Oh my god, here's Narsha, Kovachi, Leah. God damn, I'm so jealous of this guy. What? He has so many cool stuff. Okay, let's see if we can survive this one. So I want him to put continuous damage on me. Bro, he's not doing that. Come on, do the thing. Do, do the turn one boost. Turn one boost. Come on. Turn one boost. Okay. Tiana, strip me, please. Strip and don't stun Kova. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god, we got stunned again. <laughs> Okay, okay, dot me up. All right, please. Put put damage on me. Put continuous damage on me. Yes, okay. And now we're going to go for some defense break. Set it up. And then we're going to boost, cleanse all the debuff. Absolutely amazing. That is almost, I mean, that is like a little bit better than the, the Nat 3. <laughs> and then we can boost Vigor attack bar and give it cooldown reduction so we can heal again. Boom. I mean, it's not bad, but I feel like 
I, I feel like the kit doesn't really feel like an LD Nat 5 kit, you know? I would expect something like a heal, some shield, some speed buff, and I, I think Kovachi would be pretty sick. Right now, Kovachi kind of feel like the light, the, the, the light kernel. Okay, I, I can't remember the name of that unit. The light kernel, the one that buffs speed and attack, I mean attack buff and attack speed, but take away the HP. It, it feels kind of like that. Is this guy going to be absolutely insane? Because if you use Kovachi for turn one, oh no, we got stunned and we got the block buff. If you use it for turn one, then the cleanse value is not there. If you use it for turn two, then there's no healing from this support unit. So it's it's kind of it's kind of strange, right? It's it's a little bit awkward to use. It's like a weaker version of using um a Nikki, the Dark Occult Girl, because the Dark Occult Girl can heal. So if you use a turn one, you have damage and the attack buff because it damaged the enemy. If you use it for turn two, it provide it provide healing for the team and cleanse. So it kind of makes sense, but this unit, it feels a little bit awkward. It is a strong kit, but is it a strong LD Nat 5 kit? I'm not exactly sure. I think the, the elemental version is actually a little bit better, like a bit easier to use and make more sense. I, actually, this guy is really easy to use. He's not that hard to use, right? Because the, the skill is so simple. It's attack buff, it's cleanse, it's cooldown reduction. It's, it's one of the most generic kit out there. No, nothing about this guy scream originality, per se. But he's definitely easy to use. You can use it with pretty much any damage dealer. If you have this guy, and you're not a competitive RTA player, it is totally okay. You can just use it with any damage dealer, and you will have another team. Because when you want to build a team, for guild content, you will have something like attack buff, defense break, and a damage, right? So you have like Riley, Vigor, and then a damage dealer. You have Fran, Lauren, you have a damage dealer. You have Kovachi, and you have anything, and then another damage dealer. So it is simple as that, but I think it's just a little bit too simple, I would say. Just a little bit too simple. If he's stripped though, <laughs> If he stripped though, that would be kind of crazy. All right, let's, let's put three LD to the test, okay? We have three LD. We have an attack buffer and two insane damage dealer. And I'm so jealous of this team. What is this? This is crazy. Can I kill the Perna? Oh, shit. Because we don't have speed buff. If we have speed buff, we could kill the Perna pretty easily. But because we don't have speed buff, it's not as good to use, right? Ouch. Bruh. <laughs> uh oh guys we are definitely in trouble we are definitely in trouble i hope that it has some sort of protection to to the kid instead of um just cleansing maybe if you don't have any debuff to cleanse like add an extra condition if there's no debuff to be cleansed then it will buff something else but if it cleanse any debuff it will not buff that that extra thing that crit rate that attack speed that something you know because right now I think the unit is just a little bit too too simple. Oh wait. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh man, I don't want to bomb. Oh, they they all have wood runes. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh no. Oh, oh my god, Narsha. I wish you have better runes. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, it hurts so much. I wish this is a revive skill. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing if it's a if it's a revive skill? We're gonna do this to ourselves, and we have the skill three back already. Oh my god, that hurts so much! Ouch. We're gonna do this. It's just not. I, I wish it just does a little bit more of something, just a little bit more. Yeah, that would make it really, really good. Okay, so just now we bomb, and then we have the bomb back immediately, and I think that is dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Like some healing somewhere. It's just a little bit too simple for my taste. For an LD Nat 5, I expected a little bit more. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will run something like this as well. An attack buffer and an immunity unit so that your team will be actually safe. Which then make the cleanse kind of redundant because I don't think you'll be cleansing anytime soon, right? 
So if right here it buff attack speed or crit rate or immunity, that'll be kind of cool. So what do I want to do? I'm going to reduce the cooldown of Dominic. It doesn't have the skill too just yet, but it get the attack bar. Okay, and now it has a skill too, which is kind. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. That's that 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 is not funny. That is not funny. We're gonna push. Oh, no, 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 no. That is bad, guys. This is bad. And the skill one doesn't do a whole lot, right? The the, the skill one is just actually I can't say that the skill one is actually one of the strongest skill one in the game because it gains attack bar. It just doesn't do damage, so it's more it's more of a balanced skill one. Okay, what do I do here? We're gonna buff attack power. But Dominic might die. <laughs> Dominic might die. Ouch. Okay, we survive, we survive, we survive. And we are fine. We're gonna do this to ourselves because I want to cleanse once again. I wanna get rid of the oblivion. It's cycle turn really, really fast. That is the good thing about it. Because when you use other unit that buff attack power, they don't cycle turn that fast. You don't like them. But this one, this one cycle turn really, really fast. So if you pair this one with a Bella, it's going to be very good. So Dominic take a turn. We boost Dominic attack bar. I wish it's a full boost. So, so bad. If it's a full boost, that will make this unit incredible. Right? But it's not. 15% <laughs> attack, 50% attack bar. So sometimes sometime it's good when, when you are about to move, but sometimes it's not good. Maybe on violent, it'll be kind of crazy, right? On violent, it might be kind of crazy. So short cooldown unit like Dominic will work really well with this guy. But I think Kovachi will work with cooldown reset unit as well, like Shizuka. So we can reset... I have no idea what to do, actually. The, 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 the speed tuning is not right, but if Dominic take a turn and then Shizuka reduce the cooldown of Dominic to go again or something like that, that can be kind of crazy. So we do this and then we're going to, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, at least he's not going to die. <laughs> we do some good damage over here. Ouch, it doesn't die. Come back to life. We're going to boost ourselves. And then we're going to have this to protect the team, immunity and shield, right? And we have the attack buff once again. Uh-huh. So Dominic will move once again. Something like that. Like I can, I can see a random G3 guy who just abused the, the, the cooldown thing. So now we give Dominic the turn. We steal the turn away from the... From, from from the Luis, and then we're gonna do this to kill the, the Molong. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna do this. And oh, we don't have any skill at all. That is so sad. That is so sad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're dying, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I can see. I can see somebody already ab abusing that if they have the unit. That can be an interesting mechanic, right? Something like that will be will be kind of cool. Okay, ignore the Dominic. We now have a real damage dealer, not the Dominic, okay? We're gonna go for the damage over here. Look at that nasty damage. And then we're gonna do this. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on Shizuka. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Oh my god, I'm actually dying. I'm actually dying. I missed two crit in a row. And then I'm gonna do this onto myself. Is that a good move? I have no... Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Why am I missing every crit? That I can... I can miss. Okay, the cooldown is actually not that... Not that amazing. And now... Does she have the skill ready? She doesn't. Oh, it's only one turn less, so it's not like super impactful. It's like a little bit impactful, but it's not that impactful. I still like Kovachi with unit with low cooldown. Like unit like Laika with a two turn cooldown. I think that'll be incredible to use it against. I mean, with the Laika. Because we can just keep using the, the Laika skill too. And that is, that is awesome, right? Bruh, 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 bruh. What am I doing? Give the turn to someone else? Uh-huh. 
Boom. <laughs> it's it's something that we are working towards too. Okay. Also, imagine attack bar boost and cleanse. This will be the perfect nemesis trap. The very old school nemesis trap. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because that is not like a, a, a good damage clan, right? But it might work. Okay, as you can see, we gain attack bar in between the enemy team. Doesn't matter how carefully speed tuned they are, but we gain attack bar with Nemesis Rune and we are not very tanky. And we do this. And now the game has changed, I think. <laughs> so we're going to do this to the enemy team. We stun them because Clara stunned us. We're going to bomb the Theo. And then we start going absolutely crazy. Okay, we might die to uh, to, to this guy though. That might be not fun. We're going to boost the attack bar of Ciara. And then I'm going to use... I have no idea what to do. I'm going to do this on myself. We're going to bomb this guy. And we're going to detonate. Right? And that bomb on Theo is attack buff bomb. Doing very, very good damage. Trying to take away the, the, the first life. Okay, didn't actually work out. We're going to do this again. And... Uh oh, we're still losing. We're still losing, guys. We're still... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, shit. All right. Um, I'm going to do this to myself because we have bomb. I'm going to have no idea what I should do here. I I lost. Wait, there's no way to kill Theomas. But it is something that we can explore as well. Right? So now I buff attack power. And then I'm going to die. I'm pretty sure. But we might still win. Okay? Because we have bomb damage and attack buff. Uh-huh. We can't die just yet. I'm going to keep... What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to do this to Ciara. So I can put a bomb on that Savannah. It will die to the first bomb. And then the second bomb is from Ciara. So it's a good bomb. It will kill. It should have killed. What? A... No, 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 no. Oh, we survived. We survived. All right, what do I do? I'm going to put this to myself. Violent. All right, we don't need to violent. Don't violent on me. Don't you dare violent on me. Then we do this. Ah, so this is a, this is just another Shizuka showcase, like every other showcase. Sag. Shizuka so OP. Like Shizuka standing next to Kovachi. It makes Kovachi a three-star unit. <laughs> right, guys? Don't, don't we, can we agree? Like Shizuka standing next, next to Kovachi. And the utility of Shizuka is absolutely dominating compared to a unit like Kovachi that can also kind of buff and support, but <laughs> why is Shizuka so insane? It, it brings so much more value to the table. If you have to pick a, a unit that can buff attack power like this, <laughs> but Shizuka cannot cleanse, so you can't really compare that way. But it feels, right? It feels like Shizuka is just absolutely dominating during that match. So there are many strippers that doesn't influence attack bar. Jogun is definitely one of them as well. Are you kidding me? Jogun didn't... There are many units that doesn't influence attack bar when they strip, like this guy. So when he hit you, you gain attack bar. And with Nemesis build, if he despair stun any of the other unit, you can actually cut in between and do this. It's kind of incredible. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. But, oh, oh, shit. That is not good. I'll give you another turn, Sierra. Trying to do something about it, please. <laughs> so this is another way to use Kovachi. And I think it is a pretty interesting way that if you have the unit, you can try to explore as well. I'm saying as if you're going to have the unit. No, you of course not going to have the unit. It's an LD5 and it's so new, but I'm pretty sure some G3 gamer is going to have it and it's going to abuse it next RTA season in one shape or another. But if I have to pick a support, in the team, I think with this skill too, I'd rather pick Shizuka. It's like a... I... <laughs> Shizuka skill 2 is better, right? It's kind of similar, but skill 2 of Shizuka can revive and that is just crazy. So when, when your teammates die, Kovachi becomes shit. But when your teammates die, Shizuka can still bring them back to work. So that's totally awesome. So that's pretty much what I think about Kovachi right now. We might come back in the future to see how good he actually is in RTA. So stay tuned to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Once again, this video is sponsored by Macarena. If you want to give it a try, there's a link down below for you to download on your mobile and PC.